this lecture we will discuss about the practical diode so in the previous lectures we have seen the ideal diode and it has uh, problems using the ideal diode characteristics now this practical diode means so previously we have seen the cathode voltage is connected to ground so whenever VA is greater than 0 or simply whenever VA is greater than weaker the diode is on but for the practical conditions the potential difference between this anode and cathode should be at least 0.7 for the silicon diode and at least 0.3 volts for germanium diode that means we need some potential difference between these two previously it was simply zero now we have to apply the potential difference between these two terminals will be at least 0.7 volts or 0.3 volts that means we are defining that barrier potential right so it's like a simple example so when you want to on a switch so we need to apply some force right so in the ideal layout that was at zero level or the difference should be zero but in this case at least uh, these two levels for silicon and uh, germanium layout now if you draw the characteristics the i versus v in volts so previously it was at this zero level but now it will shift to here that is 0.7 volt for a silicon 0.3 volts for germanium assume that two types of diodes will be there so one is silicon type and one is germanium diode now for silicon diode we need to at least 0.7 volt and for germanium we need 0.3 volts now when it is reverse bias the current is zero but the moment it is followed by the current is increasing right so this is about the characteristics of practical diode now we will see or we will solve some problem depending on these conditions so this is the previous gate question that is 2016 assume that the diode in figure has v on v on means forward bias voltage points and volt but it is uh, otherwise ideal so that means when it is reverse bias it is simply open circuit and find the magnitude of the current i2 in milliampere that is flowing across r2 but before that i need to explain about the equivalent models for forward bias so whenever the diode is forward bias for practical it is not equal to short circuit but now it is equal to a 0.7 voltage drop whenever diode is in on or forward bias right whenever it is in reverse bias or off now it will become simply open circuit so this is two are the equivalent models when uh, the practical diode is on right now now so we are having two methods to solve this uh, problem so we will see those two methods first i will solve with the short circuit method short circuit method this method what we need to remember is assume diode is diode is in forward bias right and find the current across the diode now if it is an ideal diode it will be short circuit but it is a practical diode so the diode will equivalent model will be a if so in the question he mentioned points on volts so it should be points on volt now see the equivalent model for this circuit will become like this plus minus 2 volt this is some resistor 2 kilo ohm and this is diode so I'm I replaced by 0.7 volt and uh, this node there is a resistor R2 so this is the common terminal this is 6 kilo ohm we need to find the current I and we need to find this current I also if this current is flowing in this direction that is anode to cathode that I have reason forward bias now if you observe this across this uh, this node you will directly find 2 volt right so we need this voltage suppose if you are assuming this is v see already 2 volt you are having and this is 1 volt right so what is the difference 2 minus 0.7 so you will get here is simply 1.3 volts now then only we can see 2 volt minus 1.3 the, the drop will be 0.7 so this is how we directly find the voltages now we need to find the currents 
i i2 and in between this whenever this current i is positive the diode is in forward bias so to find that one i2 means simply v is equal to 1.3 so v minus 1. Point, i mean 1.3 minus 0 by 6 kilo is your i2 so i2 is equal to 1.3 by 6 kilo ohm so this is 1.3 by 6 milliampere so 1.3 by 6 milliampere if you find it will be 1.3 by 6 it is 0.22 milliampere it is 0.22 milliampere now what about so i so i we cannot find because this is a voltage source i can find the current here so that is i'm assuming i1 so i1 is 2 minus 1.3 by 2 kilo so i1 is equal to 2 minus 1.3 by 2 kilo ohm so 2 minus 1.3 means 0.7 by 2 milliampere so 0 0.7 means 0 0.35 milliampere right this is how we found i1 now if you observe here i1 is coming that is 0 0.35 milliampere and from this i2 is 0 0.22 milliampere if you observe and apply kvl here uh, kcl i plus 0 0.35 milli is equal to i2 because incoming is equal to outgoing so what is i i2 is equal to what 0 0.22 milliampere so i i can find 0 0.22 minus 0 0.35 milliampere if you observe it is you will get negative value that is minus 0 0.133 milliampere now what we can conclude here is we assumed the diode is in forward bias that means i should flow from anode to cathode but what we got is negative so negative means what so i is opposite so that means the diode is simply off so whenever it is off so the ideal he mentioned already so it will be open circuit and there will be a 2 kilo ohm resistor and this is 2 volts and this is 6 kilo ohm so he mentioned find i2 here now it is very simple this is simply open circuit means voltage source and 2 series resistances so i can find i2 is equal to directly 2 by 2k plus 6k 8 kilo ohm so so it's simply 0.25 milliampere so already in the question he mentioned that find the magnitude in milliampere so i2 will be simply and you have to write here is 0 0.25 that's it right again i'm explaining assume the error is in forward bias so equivalent is 0.7 so that we can replace like this so i should flow from anode to cathode but by this analysis we got i as minus 1.133 milliampere that means it is flowing opposite direction that means that it is reverse bias so then i can find easily the current from this circuit now the open circuit method that we will see in the next lecture